With Alabama State men's basketball coach Lewis Jackson, the team coming off a tough 75-72 loss. Uh, we Texas Southern came in undefeated, and we had many chances to win the game, Coach. Uh, a couple turnovers and missed shots down the stretch. What happened? Well, uh, as you just stated, uh, just closing the game. You know, we, I think we begin to sound like a broken record in terms of, you know, on the outcome of uh, these ball games. We played our last five ball games. You know, we're competing, competing at a uh, pretty good with good energy and good effort and good intensity. You know, just our ability just to stay poised and stay patient within our offense down the stretch. It's been a difference in these ball games, and, and those are the teams that's going to win, that has that discipline to do what you're trying to get accomplished uh, within your offense. And we had our chances, you know, and I had to go out to them. They stayed the course, and, and they did what they had to do, but our guys fought hard, and we just came up a little short. For the team to only commit nine turnovers tonight, that was a low number. You had to be pleased with that and also uh, get good production from a couple different players like uh, Corvine Butler and Jamel Waters. Uh, Waters had 18 points, eight assists. Corvine Butler doing a little bit of everything tonight, 15 points, 14 boards, uh, four blocks, couple steals. What can you say about their performances tonight? Well, uh, you know, I, I start with Jamel. That's, uh, you know, he, he, he's been a warrior for us all year and, and doing his tenure here at Alabama State. And he just comes out and competes, you know, each and every night. That's, he does it in practice, and, and this is the reason that why he has success in the ball games. And, and Cravon, you know, uh, bless his soul, he's playing with a bad back, and, and we're playing him in and out, you know, trying to limit his time, playing time. But just getting in there, fighting and hustling, and trying to do the things that we need done. And, and my hat goes out to him. You know, we just got to get some other guys to step up and play in order for us to be successful. Uh, the team seemed to do pretty well from the three-point line tonight, hitting nine from uh, beyond the arc, and really that kept them in the game. It really did keep us in the game. But when you look at the free throw line disparity, uh, 26 attempts for Texas Southern, only eight, uh, that has to change, right? Well, absolutely. You know, it, it, it's, it's, you know, it's difficult, you know, when, you, when the opponent can come in and, and, and get to the free throw line 26 times. And they made 23 up, so they shot it very well. I think we made seven or eight. But uh, they got to the line, they attacked the basket, got to the line, things like that. And, and we have to do a better job of, of defending the rim and things of that nature. But it was good to see, you know, uh, Rogers make some shots tonight. You know, he's kind of been in a, in a dry spell there. It was good to see some shots go down for him. So, we'll, con you know, we'll continue to work and get prepared for these guys coming in on Monday to be ready to go to work again. And we've had just so many of these close games so far this year. We seem to be getting – we're right there. We're kind of right there just – Finishing out crunch time, right? I mean, well, absolutely. You know, we, we continue to fight, and we go back and look at the video and, and look at the last five minutes of the ball game. Because most of the time, that's where your games are won and lost. The last five minutes, how well you run your offense, how are you doing the things you need to be doing defensively, and things of that nature. And continue to work and grow, and and then of course, you know, we'll try to do that on tomorrow. But being it's a quick turnaround, uh, we're gonna get in and, and, and look at a little video on uh, PV and come out and try to win a ball game here. Prairie View on Monday night, 7.30, again from the Academy. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. Go Hornets.